A Disney Pixar Cars Story from the book 5-Minute Racing Stories Fame in the Fast Lane I could get used to this, Lightning McQueen said. He and Sally had just arrived in sunny Santa Carbarera for the latest event in the Racerama series. There were swaying palm trees, spectacular beaches, and more than a few celebrities. Why don't we check out some of the hot spots, Lightning suggested. There'll be plenty of time for that later, replied Sally. Right now you need to focus on winning tomorrow's race. Lightning was going to represent the fabulous Hudson Hornet Academy. He'd be up against a student from Chick Hicks Racing School. But so far, Chick was keeping the car's identity top secret. Don't worry, Lightning said as he and Sally arrived at the racetrack. Whoever my opponent is, he doesn't stand a chance. Better make that she, Sally replied. Lightning looked up. Chick was cruising towards him with a gleaming pink car by his side. Suddenly, fans appeared out of nowhere and surrounded the pink car. Meet Candace, racing's hottest new celebrity, Chick said. Lightning was speechless. He had been gearing up to race against a mean muscle car or a rough and tough truck. A shiny pink car was the last thing he expected. No need to say a word, Candace said. Fans often get tongue-tied around me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a photo shoot. What a show-off, Sally said. But Lightning wasn't bothered. I've seen her kind before, he replied. You know, the type of car who wants the glory with none of the hard work. Speaking of hard work, Sally said, you should have started practicing by now. No more talking. Let's get moving. Yes, ma'am, replied Lightning, then burst out laughing. <laughs> What? Sally asked. The lightning smiled. I think you've been hanging around Sarge too long. That night, after lightning fell asleep, Sally cruised the race grounds. When she got to Candace's tent, she saw a lively party taking place inside. Are you sure you're ready for the race? Sally overheard Chick Hicks ask. Of course, Candace snapped. I've got a few tricks even you haven't seen. The next morning, Sally joined Lightning for some last-minute practice turns. Just ease into it and let yourself drift, Sally suggested. Soon, Lightning was turning like an expert. But Sally looked concerned. What's the matter, he asked. Sally told him what Candace had said the night before. If she has to resort to tricks, then I guess she doesn't have that much confidence in her skills. Fortunately, I have plenty in mine, Lightning declared. When Lightning pulled up to the starting line, Candace was posing for the cameras. Lightning, please, she said. You're blocking my good side. You know, Candace, Lightning said. Doc Hudson taught me there's a lot more to racing than fame. Like what? Candace asked. Well, things like skill, sportsmanship. Lightning began, but Candace wasn't listening. She was too busy soaking up the limelight. The starting flag went down, and Lightning and Candace sped off. Lightning quickly took the lead, but he didn't hold it for long. At the first turn, Candace used a drifting maneuver that allowed her to coast right in front of him. When Lightning tried to pass her, she tilted her body towards the sun. The sunlight reflected off her ultra-shiny paint and into Lightning's eyes. He couldn't see where he was going and drove right off the track. Lightning rejoined the race and tried to overtake Candace but she pushed him onto the shoulder. The next time he came up beside her, she used the sun to blind him again. Watching from the sidelines, Sally knew she had to do something. Lightning, she called. Hang back, so Candace thinks she's won for sure. 
then zoom up and use the drifting move we practiced this morning. Once you're out in front, floor it to the finish line. Lightning took Sally's advice and the lead. Hey, Candace, Chick had screamed. Losers don't make the front page. You'd better win this thing. Candace sped ahead of Lightning. Then she swerved over to some dunes and spewed sand at Lightning as he passed her. This better be worth it, whined Candace. I hate getting sand in my tires. While Lightning stopped to clear the sand from his eyes, Candace smiled. Her trick had worked. Hey, Candace, how about looking this way? shouted a photographer. Candace turned, triggering a dozen cameras. She blinked frantically, trying to recover from the blinding flashes. At the same time, Lightning raced ahead and crossed the finish line. And Lightning McQueen wins it, shouted the announcer. I don't believe it, wailed Chick Hicks. How could this happen? Lightning proudly received his silver telephone trophy. ka chow, he said as he smiled for the cameras. Finally, it was time to sightsee and have some fun. Being in the spotlight was fine, but being with Sally was even better. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this car story. If you did, please check the description below for a playlist of more car stories. And please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for new stories every week. Thank you and goodbye for now.